Older women are grumpy. They're always complaining about everything. Nothing satisfies them. This is a stereotype. <laughs> this is not true. There, of course, are grumpy older people. There are reasons sometimes that they're feeling grumpy, but there are many of grumpy younger people as well. But I think it's not a particular trait of getting older to be more cynical and judgmental. And even though you've got the open the movies like you know grumpy old men, and you've got people that you know are just sort of critical critical of the way things have evolved in the world, it's 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 just part of their way of dealing with the with the challenges and the and the life situations that they've had to deal with. Everybody has hard days sometimes, but you know it's not a physical it's not a trait of older people that they're always seeing the downside in things. In fact, I think some of the most optimistic people in the world are people that are so grateful every day for getting up in this world and and having an opportunity to you know, have another another day on the planet. I mean, older women, sixty seventy in our sixty and me community, are always saying how grateful they are for just another opportunity to you know to do the things that they love and I think that the the, the grumpiness comes from you just sometimes feeling like you, you maybe you don't feel like you have an influence anymore that you're that people don't care about what you think what your contribution might be but you know I think that people over 60 and 70 are not the grumpy people. I mean, I'm not being critical here, by the way, on, on the, any of the channels, these younger channels, but there's a lot of people that are very unhappy about situations that are happening in the world, and justifiably so. But that's that's explaining, though, how we react to things that we want to change. And older women, if you think about it, were the people that were there, you know, that the, they were the, the trailblazers when it came to, you know, I demonstrated against the Vietnam War, even when both my brothers were in the army. You know, I was marching every single almost day, it seemed. We were fighting very hard. I mean, think about the women's movement and about, I know it's not perfect. I know that women have not got all the rights that they really want in the workplace, but when boomer women made a start at it, we tried our very best. You know, we were there when things were very difficult um, politically and also with technology, with all the things that came about and changed our lives dramatically. You know, we a lot of younger women, by the uh, older women, by the way, got married when they were 18, 19 out of high school. It was the thing. You know, a lot of women did this and they ended up in relationships that were very abusive. They just didn't know the person. They didn't know who they were getting married to. That, you know, uh, football hero in high school who you love so desperately turned out to be someone you know diff completely different so a lot of women in our 60 and me community are, are dealing with divorce many several marriages sometimes trying to find someone that accepted them for who they were truly anyway we've been through a lot I don't think we're grumpy. We're just realistic. We've seen it from both sides, but we want to be here to help and we want to give you some perspective so I'll push back on that stereotype too not all older women are not all grumpy <laughs>